Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to show you how to create your own custom Snapchat geofilter because you can do it straight from the Snapchat app now, and it's really easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is launch up Snapchat, and once you're on the camera page, tap on the ghost in the top left-hand corner of the screen, and then navigate to the gear, which is settings. And on screen now, or you might have to scroll down just a little bit, you'll see on-demand geofilters, and you'll want to tap that. Now on this page, it'll list any past geo filters that you've created or ordered, but we wanna make a new one, so let's tap on this in the top right-hand corner, and Snapchat's gonna ask us what the occasion is. Now unfortunately, as of right now, there is no custom option, so you cannot create one quote unquote from scratch, so you'll have to pick something that's very similar to what you're celebrating if one of the current options doesn't work. I'm gonna tap on this one right here, and then it's gonna give you a pre-made theme of what it would look like if you have a photo taken with a filter applied over it. Now you can't change everything, but you can change the specific test. Like instead of it saying happy birthday name, you can have it say happy birthday Sam or whoever else you're celebrating. Once you've done that, you can also apply stickers or or add any other text. I could add some emojis and throw them in here, which is pretty cool. I like that they allow you to customize it even if it's just a little bit. And when you're done designing, tap on the check mark. And from here, you're gonna have to name it, call it whatever you want. Filter type should be personal, I guess, unless you have a business Snapchat account. But we're just gonna do personal, hit continue. And then you're gonna add these start and end times for when you want the geo filter to start because unfortunately they don't last forever and the longer you have it run, the more expensive it's gonna be. When you've set your time, click on continue and from here you have to design the area around where you want your geo filter to activate. If you do a pretty small area, it'll be $6 is the very base. But if you want this huge massive area, it can get kind of expensive, kind of fast. So just be careful when you're selecting the area where the geo filter is. It's gonna default to your current location, but you can also type in anywhere else too. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to review the name, the start and end times, the filter type, and even the email that the confirmation or approval or denial will be sent to because Snapchat does have to approve this filter. They're not gonna just let any filter go out there because there could be some controversial stuff, but chances are, if you're just celebrating somebody's birthday, it'll be just fine. Once you think everything looks good to go, you can go ahead and tap on submit and now the ball is in Snapchat's court. They don't approve everything for some reason, but as long as it's within reason you're using one of their filters and it's nothing crazily inappropriate, I'm sure it will fly by just fine by their rules. And if you are approved or even if you're denied, I'm sure you will get some sort of confirmation letting you know how Snapchat felt about your filter and they'll probably send the confirmation to your email. So it was that easy to create a filter if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below and it would really help me out. And of course, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you later.